Will this be one of the successful COVID-19 vaccines? These scientists are part of a team in Cambridge working towards a human trial in autumn. This one is different to the others we've heard about. Delivered to the patient, or in this case, an orange ball, not by needles, but with a puff of air, which absorbs into the skin. So, masks on, we're inside in this lab setting. We are not allowed past here, but the researchers are going to go in with a phone and do some filming for us. Now, this is where the vaccine is being tested and developed. Dr. Rebecca Kinsley and Professor Jonathan Heaney, who's doing the camera work here, have just received nearly £2 million in government funding to get their vaccine to the next stage. Away from the lab with the live virus, the team are hopeful that their choice of using a different device to give the immunisation will mean more people will want to have it. I think everybody has at least you know, one friend who's needle phobic and absolutely dreads going to get a vaccine and given that we're in a very different situation now where this is a virus that's affecting so many people, hopefully everybody will be able to not be fearful of having the vaccine actually delivered because there's no use of needles. Not having a needle also has other benefits when distributing around the world. This vaccine can be freeze-dried and doesn't need refrigeration, which will be helpful in developing countries. For Professor Heaney, who's leading the study, he hopes this vaccine will have the potential to get rid of all coronaviruses. He's studying the genetic sequence of the ones we've had before. By looking at what has caused those similar effects in SARS and MERS, and then re-superimposing really that on the sequences and the structures that we're looking at with this particular virus, we're able to delete or remove and, and take away all those possible sites of the virus that may trigger those, you know, pro-inflammatory, those dangerous immune responses. The work that's going on here in Cambridge is one of many trials that's happening across the world. So what's going on with this particular trial is they're just before they go into manufacturing and then they're actually going to try it out on people. But there are other vaccines all around the world. What stage are they at? The World Health Organization says there are 31 trials in clinical evaluation for a vaccine globally. These include leading candidates like Oxford and Imperial in the UK who have begun testing on people at scale. And a vaccine from Moderna, a US-based pharmaceutical company who've just finished talks with the EU to supply 80 million doses. Behind those, there are 142 other candidates around the world in earlier stages of development. Back at the lab in Cambridge, science isn't the only worry on the professor's mind. If we overpromise and we say, we're going to have a vaccine for you in January that's going to solve this problem and make, make this go away, or before the, uh, the elections in the United States, that's not going to happen. We need to manage expectations and to let everybody know that vaccines do work, but it takes time to make sure that they're safe and effective. A viable vaccine may be a while off yet then. But the scientists running this trial also say that technological advances are helping them speed up the process to get one as quickly and safely as possible.